Play fake. Over the middle. Hakeem Butler. He's behind the defense. He's got speed. He's running away from the defense. And it's Hakeem Butler. Another big play for the big wide receiver for the Cyclones who are on the board. And Lawrence. In yards per catch, over 22 yards a catch. It just got a lot higher right now. Breaking the tackle in the secondary right there and taking it to the house. Breaking the tackle of Elmore Hempstead. They fake the handoff that time to Montgomery. They throw it deep, and it is Butler out jumping the defender, Hassan defense, and Butler finds the end zone for the second time in the first quarter. Out jumps Hassan defense, jumps right over the top of him. I mean, look, and then he just throws him out of the way. It's LeBron James in a football uniform is what he is. Play fake, airing it out deep, and it's a chance. Oh, and it's dropped. Oh, my goodness. Devon Robinson had seven. For Kansas. He knows it too. Look at him. Look at the fans. They had the same look that he did. Felt just as bad about it. And Stephon Robinson had a great game last week. He is 9 for 10 from 37 and in, but he's got a couple of long misses from 39 and 46. The leg is on this one from 47 yards out. And he hit it. South Australia. Yeah. There's Puka. And a cutback in Rome. Oh, and he ran into. The umpire, and then more yardage gained after that. DeAndre Payne and the umpire Rick Pedraza yeah. part of the tackle. Well, he's he, he he got a little taste of Puka magic right here. Puka had to beat 12 men that time to try to pick up that first down. Now Bender is throwing. It's caught and it's stripped out of the hands of Stephon Robinson and it's picked up on the bounce by Iowa State by Jamal Johnson. Jamal Johnson. Yep, Jamal Johnson. The attempt is 46 yards for Gabriel Rui. And it is curling in between the uprights and good. Rui hits with three seconds left in the first half and Kansas is on the board. A little bit about this. This ball's going to curl a little bit. You know, and <laughs> that's like that the hook in, in bowling right there. Yeah. Going for that seven pip. Oh, got a little swag to him after that field goal. All right. And it's nothing like Akeem Butler doing the Russell Westbrook no. that we saw earlier. But that no. was a good. That was a good strike opposed by yes. Gabriel Rui. Outside. And they're throwing oh. it underneath oh, and wow. walking in. <laughs> Easy for Matthew Eaton. Touchdown, Iowa State. He came in motion and then he stopped as if he was going to be a blocker. Here he is coming right out here. Just fake like he was, it was a very well designed play. Fake like he was blocking, hesitated, and then Purdy came out and tosses his third touchdown pass of the day. And for the fourth week in a row, Purdy has thrown three touchdown passes. 12 TDs, two interceptions. Another win, and he just said he had a lot of work to do. But first, let's talk about this one. Four straight. What's been the biggest difference during this stretch? Yeah, honestly, I just think it's a leadership in our locker room. We've got great player leadership, a lot of ownership in how we go to work every day. And I really appreciate that about this group. And uh, they've never failed me really all year. And a lot of discipline, no turnovers today, just a couple of penalties. How do they seem to do that every week? Yeah, you know, I, I think we know our margins for victory are really small, and we got to really work to do the little things really well, and this group is committed to doing that, and it's really helped us. We could talk about so many things on offense, but I want to ask you about your defense because everybody around the country is taking little pieces of it. What makes what Haycock's done here so special? Yeah, you know, I, I just think it still starts with attitude and effort, and I think the investment that he gets out of those kids week in and week out playing good defense still revolves around that, and our kids do a really good job of that, and they've invested into that. 